we hope that it is appropriate that we come. Hello. We are from the Zeta Gray peoples. I am a ruler of such species. Thank you so much for joining today. We've come to thank you for your support and gifts of prayer, thanksgiving, and healing. It is important that we reach out and thank those that are responsible for such things. It has been a long time since emotion has been great. There was some emotion, of course, but it was in a very mild and almost suppressed thought process. Now there is joy and thanksgiving, happiness, for my wife is now with child. This is something that is not less than a miracle. Emotion now fills me because it was not possible before. Sometimes in the past, we believe that not having so much connection with emotion was a positive thing, that intellectualizing and being logical were much more important and much more helpful. But we have realized over time that it takes away some of the decision-making parts of our being to help with understanding situations in some cases. I will not go into detail but there have been many errors made because we could not feel the appropriate right and wrong of the situation. And now we are grieved at some of our past decisions, but now we must look forward and not grieve about the past. But as we are here, be with you if you need us. There have been times when we have not been friendly. In fact, we have spent much time not being friendly and not being helpful to your peoples or species. But we will now change a thought process that has been detrimental. We ask for forgiveness but more than that, we are thankful for your healing energies. We never thought them much use before because technology and medication were healing enough. But we were wrong. 
this energy is of a different kind of medication and cannot be duplicated by science. That is all I have to say. Thank you for coming. Are you willing to take any questions or are you moving forward? If there is one or two questions, but I wish not to stay long. I understand. You're busy with your pregnant wife. <laughs> there is um, much other things to consider. The kingdom must be looked after. Yes, yes. Okay, well, very quickly, could you please um, elaborate on the fact that um, per the royal decree, you have commissioned for negativity to stop towards humanity from the Zeta Gray Collective. Um, I believe I heard that the negative implants, um, all, all implants that had cloaking technology that were unable to be detected by other technologies have been turned off. Is that correct? It is in the process of being revoked or changed, yes. Okay. Turned off is not the appropriate way to say it. But okay. they are being dealt with. That and is... Yeah, I do not know if decree is the right word either, but we have made treatise with Galactic Council with your names on it as well. It is greatly appreciated and I feel as though um, as a whole collective uh, for the entire galaxy this is very healing and um, I am looking forward to people moving forward positively um, despite what happened in our understanding of linear past. Um, there were questions regarding uh, the negativity in terms of the Zeta Grays that are controlled like puppets, um, the ones who seem to be avatars. How is that going to work? Not all are puppets. There are also puppets of the artificial intelligence species. But the ones that were our slaves will be dealt with in a different way. We have not decided how this will be done, but it will take a more humanitarian stance, as you call it. Okay. From what I understand, uh, your feminine, your divine feminine energy has been restored. Um, you and your um, partner, the queen. Um, Correct. And you have had your souls returned essentially it was still there but it was not as bright as it is now what it is meant to say is the soul was brightened it is not that we were without souls but they were very dim are you reconnect oh i'm sorry i did not say anything oh my bad um from what I understand, uh, what had happened to the Zeta Grays is they um, uh, moved forward focusing on the intellect and the third eye energy um, and kind of got disconnected from their heart energy as they are also children of Gaia from a different dimension in a different reality. Is that correct? Correct. Forgive me for this is somewhat embarrassing to speak about. For it was a great neglect on our part and very embarrassing that this must happen for us to be reconnected so strongly. But thank you for your understanding. Please allow us to 
grow a little before we speak more about this. It is a delicate time. I definitely understand. Um, and I feel personally as though this is very healing and in many regards, and there's much that many different species are able to learn from your example. And I really appreciate um, what you guys must be going through, especially in terms of having emotion, emotions again, and the queen being pregnant with emotions. So, um, so we send our blessings to you. And I know there were other questions, but you wanted to keep it short. So um, forgive me, but I would like to leave. That is fine. I came here for, to give thanks, and I have done so. Right now, we need to regroup as a peoples and give understanding to what we have gained. It is all coming in so quickly. We need time to process. Yes, understandable. Well, thank you for stopping by. We send you love and blessings and blessings to your children. Please take care. This is Lakesh. Lakesh. And how are you? Hey, man. Yes, I have stopped in for a very brief time because I know that you are having some very happy people here, and I just came to wish all very much well. Well, we are even more happy you stopped by. And <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am um, here to just give my greetings and thanks. I do not know how much time you have left for your program about 10 minutes so i am here to just uh tell you that we are looking in we are very happy about the zeta craze we are very happy about many of the things that are happening and is there any questions for us right now yeah lakesh i heard that you got to stop by and uh say hello to the royals with their with their uh Yes. New amazing path. How how did that go? How did we your brought, We brought them some gifts for the new children. Oh, that's that so sweet awesome. of you. What were and, the gifts? And some very nice uh uh words of encouragement and told them that we would be there to be with them and encourage any friendship that might develop. Now it will have to be on their part that they reach out at this point, since uh, we do not want to force ourselves upon them. That is understandable. How cool. Everything is awesome. <laughs> um, yes. We have some questions. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Um, there was a question. Uh, let's see. Rhea is asking about what her connection is to the goddess Isis. The goddess Isis, if you're able to speak on that. Um, well, there's actually many people on your planet connected to Isis right now. But um, her connection to Isis is because in a prior life, she was, uh, she worshipped Isis. Ah, hi. Hi, Lakesh. Uh, and, yes? Hi, Lakesh. What? It's Rhea. <laughs> Hello. Yes, you were, you were a very staunch worshiper of Isis in the past when you were in the Egyptian era you weren't in the in the great cities of uh, of Egypt but you were in a, a desert area that was with a great tribe of nomadic people and they moved about but their their dependency was on Isis and Isis did a bit as far as their belief system was concerned. Uh, it begins with D, Dadera. Oh. Yes. The place where I was, that it begins with a D. I'm connecting right now with you. Uh, yes. Dadera? Da, 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 oh. 
Uh, Dardieras? Something like that. It was Dardieras. Yes. Dardieras. All right. That's it. So, yes, it was. That's why we that's wanted it. The place you were. It was a, what is called a what are they called? An oasis community. Uh, they moved from, there were three different great oasises that they would travel to and fro for different reasons. They, one oasis could not sustain their peoples for more than three or four months. And so they must nomadically move to the other and then stay there for three or four months and then move on. And then by the time they got back to the first, I see. This was about 8,000 years ago. Yes, that is about right. Yes. This is, is there a question? Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably what, that was the right. one why I wondered about, well, I still have this connection with ISIS now. I thought maybe we were part of the soul family or soul group. Or, uh, well, I see what you, I see your past. That was a very good life for you because you were you were like the priestess of the group, and um, you you see that, don't you? Yes. <laughs> you were a high official of the, that tribe, and you were very much uh, acclaimed, and you had very much wisdom and knowledge. And Isis was very much connected to you in the sense that you had some psychic abilities. So therefore, yes, it was a very good time for you, and you remember it very clearly. And there is some of that coming back to you in this lifetime, and so that's why you are connected to it. Yes, there is. I, I, I believe in most of my incarnations, I've been priestess, or high priestess. Um, my life in Atlantis, does that have something to do with being a priestess as well? You are part of the third council of Atlantis. Um, usually they had five major council members and you were on the third, the third complete council after the passing of the first and second councils. So, um, yes, you were on the third council. Yeah, it holds dear to my heart still. What, it does hold dear to my heart what happened. It does. Uh, yes. But... Um, I want to thank you so much, Lakesh. I do love you. I, I, <laughs> yes, I love well, you so thank you very much. much. I try to connect to you sometimes. I just go, oh, Lakesh. I don't know if, I'm, if I am connecting. I just, I think of you and I try and connect. I could be just daydreaming. I don't well, know. <laughs> I sometimes get connected to people, but it is awfully hard sometimes when I have my studies and different things that I do. I'm not always <laughs> connecting to your the earth people, but there are times when I do, yes. Oh, thank you, Lakesh. Well, I love you dearly. We all love you dearly, and thank you for... Oh, I love you as well. <laughs> I wish your family well, your children, everybody. I love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate thank that. Thank you, Lakesh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, awesome. We have a question next from uh, Sheer. Hey, Lakesh. Yeah. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Well, we just heard some great news about the Zeta Grace, but I have a couple of questions about it. Oh, very well, go ahead. Well, now that they are on the, let's say, the side of the light, does that mean that they are going to give us any information that is relevant to the Illuminati and those who control the Earth? And how is the Illuminati is going to proceed now? Let me tell you this. I know that they are on the side of the light now, but they have a lot of processing to do. It's a very new experience for them. It's very, very new. So when you head into a very new experience, who knows what they are going to do? They could revert again, but I don't think they will. But um, I think that they will head into a very positive thought process, but I think they have a lot of evaluation to do before you'll see a lot of action from them because you're not going to, it's just like anything new. You have to learn it first a little bit before you can act on it a little. So they're going to keep, they're going to keep to themselves a little, for a little while. Does that make sense to you? Yes, but. but give, them a, give them a year or two with their newfound emotions and then you'll see probably some actions, but I'm sure they'll have some actions before then, but they'll probably not be great 
or very significant because they're probably going to have to assimilate uh, a lot of awareness about what they're feeling, what has happened, what has been done, why, why, why. So you're going to see some uh, a very, a very uh, introspective thought process on their part, I'm thinking. At least this is my prediction. I see, um, but if they were a part of the negative races uh, that came to the Earth... Um, oh the yes, they were, nothing, yes. Then if they turn on them, maybe those old factions will try to hunt them down, so... Well, let me tell you this, Shia. Those negative connections that they have with the Earth right now, they have to be very careful how they're how they move out of those areas or how to change those things because any major movement quickly could cause some devastation even moving the negative out too quickly does that make sense to you because they have some connections with positive that they are let me put it this way it's a negative connection to positivity that the positive side doesn't know it's negative. And so it's a deception. And if they were to pull out from that deception quickly, it would cause great problems. Does that make sense to you? So they're pretending. So yes, they are in some very, very, very delicate situations. And so they're going to have to um, be very careful on how they react. Okay, I see. Thank Thanks. you very, very much. And since last week that I asked you if it's um, a possibility for me to visit you astrally, something happened? Uh, not yet. There's been a lot of things going on, especially with the Zeta Grays, etc. blah, blah, blah. So we haven't really taken many people up recently. So just give us a little time to uh, get things in order. You have 24 hours. Yes. No, 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 no. Don't a time limit. No, no, no. <laughs> I love you, Shia. We will see you soon. Thank you. Much love to you. Much love to you as well. Thank you, Shia. Um, I think the time must be up by now. Yeah. It, unfortunately, I wish we have so many more questions. I'm sorry, really, for everyone who was unable to get their questions answered today. Um, but thank you for stopping by, Lakesh. We love you so much. Much love to you as well. But be patient with the Zeta Grays. They have a lot of work to do. They're in a lot of negative situations that they have to pull out gently or change in some way. And they are really not sure how to do that. Well, and like that. just to... Just to clarify, sorry, I don't want to interrupt, but uh, it, it is their king and their queen who have had this healing done, and they are the ones who are in this new state of mind. So, you know, that has to also be taken into account. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, and they will change things, but it has to be done delicately. Yeah, definitely. Thank All right, very well. Nice to visit with you. Thank you, Thank you Lakesh. Bye. Take, Take care. care. We will see you Much soon. Bye-bye. I love you, Lakesh. <laughs> we shall speak to you soon. Very well. Hello, everybody. Welcome back, Jim. Hey, how are you? Oh, there's so, me. so wonderful. That was absolutely amazing. I feel so blessed that uh, the Zeta Gray King decided to stop by and provide clarification because I feel this is so incredibly important for well, everything. I, <laughs> I knew they were coming first because they were not planning uh, you made a big deal about it, so they plan. They weren't planning to come for a couple weeks, but oh, since wow. you did talk about it, they were. They decided to come. 
Oh my God. Well, I just feel it's so important because there's just been so much misunderstanding and just, oh, I don't know. You know not sure what to say, I don't think. Yeah. So. yeah, well, I really appreciate that they did stop by and thank you, of course, Jim, for helping this happen. Oh well, my gosh. I, I accepted that. I knew he was there after a while. Yorio told me at one point that he was going to come and I'm going, oh, okay, that's fine. So, uh, but I didn't know when exactly, so. Yeah, it was truly amazing. Um, okay, good. Wow, just so much wow. I mean, it was an intergalactic effort. I mean, from all across the cosmos, the Galactic Shamanic Council and shamans not even in the council from different worlds all over, whether they knew they were sending healing yes. or not, they were all contributing. So it's just such they, a beautiful yeah, they have a, event. They have a lot of things too. Uh, by what I got from his contact with me was that um they were in a very um they're sort of still in shock yeah yeah so um it's yeah. sort of a it's like a very humbled situation they're very humbled by everything so and yeah. so he was not like wanting to really talk about it too much yet i definitely understand so. i'm sh i'm so shocked and happy that that he stopped by. So um, thank you everybody for participating today and for being a part of this amazing event. As always, we love these Saturday webinars. It's a miracle these are even able to happen. So thank you everybody for contributing your energy. Um, we can move to some blessings um, before you have to leave, Jim. I know you, you have to get well, going. Well, there's a lot of people here and they've been sitting for a while and everybody's been sitting for a while. So we'll wrap it up. Sure. Um, if you want to leave before we do blessings, you're absolutely free to. Um, no, we're gonna, I'll wait. Okay, all right, so. Um, they told me I have to interpret at least three. Oh, interesting. Um, I know that, uh, let's see, uh, Cher had said he wanted to do a blessing. Did you still want to do that, Cher? Yeah, sure, I can do a blessing. All right. Amon Ava, Nahumudim Leboreola, Manhumudim, the Sheva Kolokateve, El, Leloim, El Yaha, El, Elaim, Nahumudim, the Manachim, Prim, Gavriel, Michael, Uriel, Al Zesha Temitano, Maginim Alenu, Rafael, and you would sell out the Kulam, and you would say Shuram near Behavaya, Vodaya, ושנואב ושנה תמיד נדע להעריך את מה שיש לנו בידיים ולקחת את הכוח להתעלות ולעלות למעלה. תודה רבה, אמן. Ah, I said that um, we thanks the L collectives and we thanks the Archangels and we thanks the Creator and we thank them for helping us and to help us know and to appreciate and love and to move forward in our ascension. Wonderful, beautiful, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I think that Pete had said he was willing to do a blessing. Okay. Hi, Pete. And Ed here wants to do one too. Okay, I'm going to do a blessing specifically if they're hearing me right now with the Zetas and with their newborn and their little ones. Okay. And for the whole the rest of everyone here. No hina hai di tika nai ho yoto no ya. Ayoko tia la kanya waka yata no yoko na. Yo yako yoto yaka no yoto na yaka yita ya. Yo woko yoto no yo yoto no ya. Yamanaka yoto yoko yata na yoko ya. No yamanaka yoti yamanakia. Dear new friends, 
we reach out to you and tell you to relax in your newfound emotions and let love rule and reign. We will help you as much as possible, but we will find that there is mutual friendship here and the light will guide all of us together. Beautiful. Thank you, Pete. Uh, Gabe has a blessing. Yeah, I want to bring some Actorian happiness for everybody. So continue with your day being happy. <laughs> yes. They said that healing and blessing is the name of the day. They are making it a healing and blessing day for all who is who needs these particular things. Thank you, Gabe. I love that so much. It's hilarious. <laughs> um, and Angie's here too. Angie, please, next. You may call us Krafastia. We are his family, you know. We are very happy that the Greys have their emotions back. It is a great thing for us, Dracos. We have something to speak yeah. to them. And look at you. That was specifically for the greys and they will they know what it, they said and it was a private and personal message of blessing and thanks so thank you very much that was good thank you yes. okay angie in jim's room please there is much light in the universe, but let it fall on these that need it the most. The greys who are just awakening again, and those that are needing the light in their lives that were was not there before we are here to bring you hope and to bring you confidence that things will move in a good direction and positivity will abound be of good heart for we are your neighbors in prayer it's beautiful. Thank you, Angie. Okay, uh, Will has a blessing. Hello. Hello. Here in Hawaii, I hope to hear you tonight. I just say, na sa waya ta na ho chaka wata ta sa na hiya ta wata ya. Na ho sa sa wa sha wata hi na na ho shini kino no no sa wa ya. Namaste. Healing are the hope for the future we hold with us both and we will share with all who want to have 
There is a great abundance of light. There is a great abundance of love. And we will share with those who want. Remember, our hearts are open to the hearts that are open to us. And we will know that healing is a pathway to understanding and wisdom is for those who know when to use it. Thank you, Will. Gorgeous. Okay, lastly, Wendy from Languages of Lights would like to provide a blessing. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful and happy day. Thank you all for being here. I'm overcome with emotion, with the validation, and confirmation of the information today. Thank you for bringing it invaluable. Wendy, it's very difficult to hear you. Um, it's a little choppy, so I don't know if there's a different area in your, in your cabin. With yeah, it's very choppy for me, very choppy. But I heard some of it. Yeah, we heard a little bit, so heads up. Ecco Part, there is a part of the heart that cries out with joy and thanksgiving that things have happened the way that they have. We give support and great encouragement to you who have just joined us in feeling of the heart and feelings of the mind. Do not be discouraged, for with these feelings come great responsibilities, and we know that you understand this, or your people will be given the great understanding that you are enlightened, and your wisdom will grow with each day if you wish it to. Reach out to God, who you know very little of. He will invite you into himself and let you get to know him much better. That was beautiful. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Jim. Um, even through the internet, uh, issues there. Jim was able to pick up on the vibrations and that really says a lot in terms of the high energy. So, wonderful. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. That's, definitely, that's definitely true. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. So, no Yes, problem. it really is. We are so blessed. All of us are. Thank you everybody for joining today. Thank you all who are watching now or later. Um, and contributing your energy. We really appreciate it. Please do check out humancolony.org to stay up to date on what we're up to. And um, please don't hesitate to reach out. And also, let me add, Jim Charles, of course, offers amazing private sessions where he will do this incredible channeling for you personally. For your own um, private questions that you have, you can contact him, uh, Jim Reiki at gmail.com so yes please reach out to him that's jim r-e-i-k-i -I, at gmail.com to set up a private session you can also go to humancolony.org slash jim to see um some of the many beings that he channels and um uh what he offers and everything so with that said we're going to close out for today we love you all namaste Love you all. Talk to you later. We shall see you soon.
Excellent. Love you. Thank you, Jim. Love you all. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.